Well, good morning and welcome back to Imp of Bee on this beautiful, sunny spring Monday morning in April. And I thought I'd give you another little update on what I'm doing, because as some of you may know already, I stopped working at the field hospital a week ago. I did three months there and I'm glad I did it. It was a brilliant experience, long hours, worked hard, built up a, a bit of fitness, I think, um, because it was hard graft. <laughs> but yeah, I met some great people there and uh, I'm glad I've done it. But I'm taking some time back again now to enjoy what I hope is going to be a lovely summer season with lots more trips in the van, lots more exploring and camping, of course. And we took a week off last week. Richard had a week off work. So we did just that. We went away in the van, day trips and overnight camps. So today I thought I'd do a little montage because I didn't do an awful lot of filming last week, mainly because I just wanted to kick back and enjoy the time off and not worry about filming. But I did a little bits here and there. So today I thought I'd give you a little breakdown of what we did last week. Well, it started on Sunday. We decided to head up to North Wales because we've explored plenty of powers. So we thought we'd try a little bit further north. And the weather was really looking good on the Sunday. So we set off with the intention of heading up to North Wales. But it is quite a long drive. And when you go at bongo speed, of course, it takes even longer. And we ended up in Llanidlois, which is a little village in Powys, in Mid Wales, that we stayed in last year. And we really loved it so much. And by the time we got there, it was sort of lunchtime. So we pulled off in the car park in the village there to have lunch ostensibly. But as we sat there, we looked around, we thought, we love this place so much. I don't think we really fancied driving further and further. So we ended up spending Sunday night in Llanidlois. And it really is a beautiful little village. And in normal times, the town is really bustling with lots of independent sort of alternative shops. But during the pandemic, and although lockdown had lifted and um, the retail shops were allowed to open, we were there on a Sunday. So very little is open on a Sunday anyway, but it was a lovely night stop. And the thing that was particularly interesting about that stop was we went for a walk in the afternoon in sunshine, beautiful weather, pretty mild, um, short walk around town and then we saw these black clouds on the horizon so we turned back, we headed back to town, Richard called into the shop for some things for tea and I stood outside with Teddy and I did take some photos actually because one end where we'd just come back from was thick black threatening clouds and I turned around and the other side of the street literally was blue sky and sunny. <laughs> it was just really strange. And then within minutes, the black clouds overtook the sun. It became really dark and then it started snowing. <laughs> we decided to head up to North Wales and we did a little bit driving around Wrexham and we went to see the lake at Bala and it was really beautiful there. But the one thing we did notice was because we're used to traveling around Powys, which is mid Wales really, a big county, and we're used to the friendliness and the acceptability really of, of camper vans and motorhomes in that county where you were allowed to stay one night in seven in most car parks in Powys and the beautiful little villages 
and we're kind of used to that. So when we were driving around North Wales, we, we decided to try to see if we could do something similar. And we went to Bala, had a look around the lake, which is absolutely stunning, well worth a visit, and lots of lovely places to stop and look at the lake. But it was immediately obvious that um, North Wales may not be quite so amenable to camper vans because there were signs everywhere, no camping. And even in the town of Bala, big car park there, but signs say no overnight camping. So yeah, we felt a bit, hmm, I think if we went to North Wales again, we'd either have to find somewhere truly wild out of the way or go on a campsite, of course, which is no bother. And uh, we could easily have done that, I suppose. But I think the way things are after lockdown, the facilities aren't open. We kind of thought we'd just do what we did last year, really, which was use car parks. But North Wales was beautiful, and definitely somewhere we'd love to go back to. Well, as you can see, I'm back on familiar territory, back in my bongo to carry on the rest of this week's vlog. Yes, so North Wales, unfortunately on this occasion, didn't give us quite the welcome we were hoping for. It's definitely worth going back as the scenery is absolutely stunning, but we weren't really welcome to do the wild camping that we enjoy. And I'm not sure if that's because of the pandemic or the behaviour maybe of some inconsiderate campers last year, creating a mess and being quite antisocial, giving us all a bad name. But yeah, the, the signs everywhere say no overnight camping made us not want to risk it. So we did what we usually do in situations like that. We headed where we know we're welcomed, back into Powys, of course. Now, fortunately, Powys is a county that's really wide geographical spread. So we weren't too far away. I think we had to drive maybe an hour to get back to Powys. And we've never really explored the north part of Powys before. We've done loads in the south. So it was a, a chance for us to explore somewhere new. Um, we drove through a little market town called Llanvallen. I'll put the spelling on the video in case anybody wishes to take a trip there. And it was a little market town and it just looked really, really pretty. We drove to the car park, which was free day and night. And the usual signs in Powys were up in the car park. You're allowed to stay one night in seven. Car park was big. I took some drone footage of it so you can see a bird's eye view of the car park. And it was, it turns out to be an absolutely stunning location. Just what we love. Nice, generous car park. It actually backed onto a little nature reserve that the town have created there. Lots of space in a field on the side to walk Teddy. Lovely views, beautiful views, sunrise and sunset. A good general store on the edge of the car park. It was actually a spa, so it had lots and lots of, of food, drink, everything you could wish for were there. And walking along the high street, again, a nice variety of independent shops. Mm -hmm. So opposite the car park, there were toilets and um, free, but there is an honesty box and it's definitely worth putting money in because they were lovely, really nice, clean facilities. And during the afternoon, it was a sunny day again. We were really lucky with the weather. We took a little walk out of town just to grab some views, really. So this little road kind of climbed up a little hill. And there we discovered another one of my favourite finds which was a holy well and it was such a pretty little peaceful place it really did have a lovely feeling around it so it seemed a perfect location to put the drone up so i did got the drone up did a little circle of town my heart's in my mouth every time i put the drone up and send it off because i always worry it's not going to come back <laughs> but it did and I did get some really lovely footage of the village. So definitely one if you're in the area to call in and see, get some trade into the town and yeah, just enjoy the tranquility and the peace. Llan of Athlin, we absolutely loved you and I no doubt at all that we will be back. So we had a few nights camping in the van, 
we did um, a really lovely steak dinner one night using the ridge monkey um, to cook some frozen oven chips and onion rings they turned out really well maybe not quite as crispy as they would be in an oven at home but for a camper meal to go with your steak and salad it was really lovely we had beautiful views whenever we stayed anywhere and yeah I really really loved that we came home and we had it one day at home just to sort of do the usual clean the van tidy up put things away do all the washing the usual boring household tasks but then on Thursday the weather that week last week was really lovely we could see the forecast that we would do a really clear morning on Thursday morning so we made the decision to get up at five in the morning and we headed off to Puth Call. Now normally when I go to Puth Call I head off to Rest Bay because it's got a lovely big car park as you know because I've done some videos from there before and you can kind of find a quiet corner just watch the world go by but there is a lovely harbour area in Puth Call, and so we knew the sun rises with the view of the harbour so we thought that would be a really good location to head to so yeah we got up at five o'clock we were in Puth Call by half past five quarter to six got a plum position on the promenade there and yes I took the drone because I really really wanted to capture some footage of the sunrise have a look at these clips and see what you think Good morning from Puth Call. We we're up dead early this morning because we've been meaning to catch sunrise for ages. So if I spin around, Richard's up there getting some photos of our lighthouse. It's not even six o'clock yet and we're waiting for the sun to rise over there. And I've got the drone. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of that one of the lighthouse in particular. It's just being there at the right time, with the right amount of sunlight, getting the right angle with the drone. And yeah, if I never do a better piece of footage, then yeah, I'm still happy with that. So that pretty much is all the trips we did in the van last week. As I say, I pl spent plenty of time in the van anyway just sort of going around looking at cupboards making some adjustments here and there and we did give the van a treat and took it to the car wash because it was pretty dirty after all of the miles that we did last week so it's feeling nice and clean again now and uh, ready for the next adventure whenever that is so just to update on the future for Impipi and what my plans are so as I am off, my plan is to go back to weekly videos, to go back to the old routine of uploads at two o'clock on a Thursday. Now, they're probably not going to be very long videos because, yeah, it takes, it's still taking me quite a long time to edit and get everything put together and uploaded to YouTube. So they might be just short, snappy videos some weeks if we go away in the van or if there's anything major to talk about then they'll be longer but yeah back back to the old program um of weekly updates and yeah that's that's pretty much it from me for this week i will see you next thursday i hope you are all out and about i'm sure you are well i know you are because i've seen some of you on instagram and i've also had some comments some of you are very very close to having your own bongos 
I know some of you have been waiting for many weeks and months for bongos to arrive in the country. So very, very best wishes to all of you who are having bongos from wherever they are. And I hope everyone who has a bongo or any other camper van for that matter, hope you're all out enjoying them, making the most of this lovely weather. But of course, even if the weather's bad, that's not such a bad thing because you can cozy up in the vans anyway. So have a wonderful week. Please remember to subscribe. Um, still working on building this channel. So if it's something that you're interested, please consider subscribing. Add a comment. I love reading those. And don't forget to join me on Instagram at Imp of B. I'll see you next week, guys. Take care. Bye.